Flemeth once told me that temptation lies in the forbidden. Do not follow me, I said, and slipped into the shadows. Some doors should never be reopened. Got it. Not another step. What are you doing here? Call off your hound. I believe I asked you first. Ugh. Fine. I am Ariane of the Dalish people. My keeper sent me to find Asha Belinar, the woman of many years. Many have tried to kill Asha Belinar in the past. Do not claim victory until a few centuries have passed with no sight of her. We thought she could help us find her daughter, Morrigan. The young witch has caused trouble for my clan. Has she earned your ire as well? It seems she has a penchant for making enemies. Morrigan stole an ancient book my clan has guarded since the days of Arlathan. We were the only ones with such a piece of our history. Everything we once had, all legacy of our ancient magics, were stripped from us. First by the Tevinter Magisters, then by the Wretched Circle. And Morrigan took what little was left. One month ago, she visited our clan in the name of friendship, and took great interest in our history. She knew exactly what she was looking for. The Keeper allowed her to see the book. Two nights later, it was gone. For almost 2,000 years, the Dalish people have been wanderers, a shadow of what we once were. This book, as much of a mystery as it is to us, is one of the only clues on how to reclaim that past. My keeper, Solon, says it was a treatise on something the ancients called Alluvian. The word is as old as the book itself, and its meaning has been lost, save perhaps to Morrigan. Help me. We both want Morrigan. And we can aid each other. The Book of Alluvian was reclaimed for my clan by an elven mage who stole it from the Circle of Magi before defecting. He said other similar treasures remain in the library, but they would never allow a Dalish to view them. Perhaps you will meet a different reception. Masiranus, I look forward to working with you.
now is better than later. Welcome to Ferelden's Circle of Magi. Please, keep your hound under control. Some of the apprentices are easily startled. And I see you have a Dalish elf with you. Is that a problem? You expect me to hide? As if being Dalish were a mark of shame? It is your people who would cringe in shame to meet my gaze, Chantry Man. Just keep it leashed, and I'm not talking about the dog. You are the hero of Ferelden, and as such, we are obliged to show you courtesy. However, the Templars have not forgotten your actions from your previous visit. I would not like to see a repeat of that incident. I am not. The Knight Commander is away in Denerim on important business. My name is Hadley. I lead the Templars in the Knight Commander's absence. If you're looking for a book, you can start in the Index section. As the Warden Commander, you and your guests are free to explore the first floor of the tower without an escort. Good day to you. I see why Keeper Solon did not want me to come here. It is all too tempting to overturn the tight order of their little world. Got it. Have you heard the stories about the hero of Ferelden? Apparently he once took on a lady pirate and three greased nugs. Between the sheets. <laughs> no! I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> I was not. Oh, all right, a little. You have to admit, it's tempting, right? All these mages, so complacent, thinking they're so important. <coughs> you think I need to relax? Well, maybe. Don't you have something more important to do? Enchantment? Hello? Hello, doggy. Sandal is staying at the tower for a while. The Tranquil are evaluating his enchanting abilities and learning a lot from him, surprisingly. Enchantment! Yes. Bodan is trading in Redcliffe. If you're interested in his goods, I believe Sandal has some of them to offer you.
Look at all these books. I've never seen so many. Is that a purebred Mabari? I wish I had one. They should allow pets in the tower. Don't you remember the Dragonling disaster? There's bits of Ivan still burnt onto the ceiling on the third floor. I'm talking about common pets. Dogs, cats, rats, owls, that sort of thing. Owls? What sort of mage has an owl as a pet? You, Hound! You think you could sneak up on the mage over there? <laughs> How high do you think he'd throw those things if he turned around and saw you looming over him? <laughs> oh, lighten up. This place is like a tomb. A few surprises would be good for them. <laughs> Warden, your dog is lecturing me again. They do not. They do. I read it somewhere. You don't believe everything you read, do you? Better safe than sorry, I say. Found the body of the Templar who went after those apostates near Hyam. Micah, it's terrible what they did to him. They say he was force-fed so much lyrium he was bleeding from the eyes. His brain was liquefied in his skull. Can lyrium really do that? It can kill you, but well, you know how rumors are. Those pisses give us all a bad name. Now some Templar will take it out on an innocent mage and start the cycle all over again. Now is better than later.
I'll get on it. I recognize the character on this page. I think it makes up part of the word Illuvian. I think so. The script is strange, but it must be. This is a library, isn't it? Perhaps another book could help us translate this. You hear what's going on up in Kirkwall? Kirkwall? In the free marches, Dolt. Half of Ferelden fled there in the blight. They say there's a refugee camp twice as big as the city. Whole place is run by Templars, though, so no one is getting in. They heard what happened here. Made them kind of jumpy. Everyone's a critic. Who let a dog in here? And what are you doing? Be careful! Wait, I know you. You're the Grey Warden Mage. The hero! This is even worse. Didn't they teach you proper care of antique volumes in the first year? Maker. People save the country and suddenly they think they can abuse priceless books all willy-nilly. Browsing the chapter on the Alluvians. No one's actually found one, you know. You know what Alluvian is? It's Old Elvish for seeing glass. Mira. It's a 2,000-year-old dialect. She's right. The word is from the lost language of Arlathan, forgotten over eons of slavery. I only know a few dozen words of it, and I'm the Circle's linguist. Alluvian isn't just any mirror. It's a special kind. When the Imperium sacked Arlathan, they took these mirrors and tried to unlock their power. But all they could use them for was communication over long distances. Well, no one's ever seen a mirror like this. There could be something that Taventus cooked up, for all we know. Hmm. My people crossed paths with another Dalish clan not too long ago. Two of their young hunters encountered a strange mirror in some ruins. One disappeared. The other became deathly ill. They never found the one, and the other died. They left Ferelden and traveled north to forget their sorrows. Shattered. Destroyed. <gasps> Why? It was corrupted by the Darkspawn, beyond hope of recovery. They did it to protect others. Even broken, it could be used to find the others. 
No, don't get ahead of yourself, Finn. You have to be sure. What? What do you know? This is so exciting. We have to get to the repository. Hadley has the key. Come on. Look, Finn, he fetched me a flower. <coughs> oh, how thoughtful. It's very pretty. Slobbery, but pretty. You should just tell him to fetch a morrigan. It would save us a lot of trouble. Go fetch! Shoo! <coughs> Just the man I was looking for. Not looking very hard, were you? I'm always here. <laughs> Good one. So I, um, I need to go into the repository. No. No? Why not? I'm not some drooling apprentice. It's because of me, isn't it? No. The Sentinels have been behaving erratically, so the repository is locked for everyone's safety. Oh. Well then. Uh... Sorry for bothering you. I would certainly like to see the situation resolved, but I would hate to put you in danger. The repository isn't crucial to the daily functioning of the Circle, so we've left it until we can spare more men. Oh, very well. It's your next. But before you go, what's so important down there? The statue. It knows things about Tavinta, and I need to speak to it. All right. Be careful, and keep the mess to a minimum. You know that talking to inanimate objects is a sign of insanity. Not when it talks back. You think the statue talks to you? It's complicated. It wasn't always a statue. You'll see. Can I get you a ladder, so you can get off my back? This'll be fun! That's right, come on! Now's better than later. How? I've never seen anything like this before. This has something to do with the magic animating the center. Let's deactivate another scene. Yeah. It seems Watch to make the horror as I rip visible. you apart! I hope this goes well! You'll get no mercy from me! I am made! Let me roar! We did it! And these sentinels are going back to normal! We need to deal with the rest of the rips in the veil if we can. This used to be where the phylacteries of the apprentices were stored. They've been moved to a more secure location. We don't even know where they are anymore. Can I get you a ladder, so you can get off my back? Remind me not to step in that. The prison is breached. I see the encroaching darkness. Wow. It does talk. Hello? The, the shadow will consume all. 
a hunger, a cage, a yawning void. Help me. Something is causing it distress. The tears in the veil, most likely. The statue's useless until we mend the veil. I'll get on it. Later. 
Got it. All right, all right. Now is better than later. Last of them. Sentinels should stop trying to kill us now. Let's get back to the statue. All right. Does your name mean anything in Elven? Blessed creators, why does everyone ask that of people from other cultures? Oh, I didn't mean... What about you? Are you named after an honorable fish's appendage? Well, um, Florian Phineas Horatio Aldebrand Esquire was a bit of a mouthful. And I was tired of the other apprentices calling me Flora. I am the spirit of Eleni Zenovia, once consort and... Advisor to Archon Valerius, blah blah, fall of the house, yes, yes, we've been through that! Finn, greetings. We've conversed before, on the Imperium. It's hard to get answers out of it, it requires passing all the grandiose mumbo-jumbo. We know where a broken Illuvian lies. Can it still be used to find the others? Scry, the broken glass, dagger sharp, will be your key. The lights of Arlathan will illuminate the Scryer's path. The Archons possessed them, but they were misused, befouled, and lost, like so much the Imperium touched. Some were saved, carried by fugitives from the elven city. Their sorrow awoke the stone, and her children sheltered them. They found a sanctuary in the deep halls of Kad Halash, now known as Kadash. There the lights of Arlathan lie, shielded from unworthy eyes. She mentioned the Children of the Stone. I had not realized that Durginlin once aided my people when they fled. Deep halls of Catalash. Must mean a dwarven tyke. Goodbye, Finn. We will not speak again. What? What's that supposed to mean?
Now, mage, tell us what's going on. The Illuvians are linked, all of them. If you have one, you can find the others, if they still exist. But the one you know of is broken and corrupted. So we need something else to amplify the magic. The lights of Arlathan. Yes. Morrigan is interested in the Alluvians. We find them, we find her. Let me come with you. I can help. Please. I thought the mirrors were all destroyed. I can't pass up this chance at actually finding one. I had permission to leave the tower to continue my research some time ago, but I never had the opportunity till now. I guess there's always a first time, huh? I'm sure I have a map to Kadash Tag somewhere in my books. I'll find it on the road. Thank you for dealing with the situation in the repository. The Circle owes you. Oh, and make sure Finn behaves himself out there. Oh, you're like my mother. Stop it. Let me just get this again. Your name is Florian Phineas... Horatio Aldebrandt Esquire. Can't forget the Esquire. Father insisted. Did your parents hate you? No. They adore me. In fact, I'm sure my name is a result of overwhelming love replacing good sense. I'm not sure I like the deep roads. A fewer darkspawn than expected, but it feels like we're being watched. Wait, why did we stop? Is this Kadash Taig? Right, so I've uh, been going through my old notes. Um, and I came across this footnote. Apparently, the Elves would magically conceal relics of great significance, thus shielding them from unworthy eyes. And given what the Tevinters did, I'd say they count as unworthy. You don't say. That's my hypothesis. But they might just be buried in the ground, too. Actually, that's very likely. It looks like Kadash Taig was built on the ruins of Katalash. The lights of Arlathan could be miles below us. I liked the other theory more. If the elves concealed the relics with magic, only the blood of their kin will reveal them. Ariane, we need your blood. Excuse me? Just a few drops, that's it. You share the same blood as the Arlathan elves, so you're the only one this enchantment might recognize. Fine. Just because hearing that gets me all tingly. A few drops. I'll... Be gentle. Ah! My spell will reveal vortices of magic. Standing in them should allow us to see the energy being drawn to the relics, which will lead us to them. Once we reach the influence of the lights of Arlathan, Ariane's blood will unveil them. But we have to be close. Dark spawn. Kill them all. I'll get on it. Why is everything so complicated? I hope this goes well. This'll be fun. You're gonna regret it. Now it's better than ever. Is this wise? Someone could die. Interesting. 
This carving over here is an old dwarven dialect. If you find more writing like this, I could probably translate it. Do you ever wish you had the freedom to piss anywhere and not have people stare at you? No. Do you? Uh, oh, no, of course not. A magical vortex. We can use it to reveal the energy flowing towards the lights of Alathen. Do you see it? Can you follow the path? I always thought dwarves must be dull without magic. But this place is all right, amazing. Alright, alright. Dash dwarves didn't even know they once had elves living here. Wouldn't this be remarkable enough to record in the memories? Something's here. Oh, Guardians! It's what that word on the scroll meant. Breaking a sweat already! <laughs> it's a good day to die! Let's see what you're I made of! Doing. Is it time to flee? <laughs> Study dwarven history when I return. Oh, what's that? Fascinating. A monument of some kind, possibly. Where's my notebook? Oh, sorry. I'll have to look at that later. All right, all right. Run while you still can! Now is better than later. Strange to think of the dwarves giving shelter in this darkness to the elves who fled Arlathan. Good feeling about this spot. I am prey for no creature. <laughs> Still burning after thousands of years. 
Magic. Perhaps the design of the sconces. Hey, wait up. Let's see. I see. In hindsight, we should have expected resistance like this. My people could not have been comfortable hiding under so much stone. One here. That was disappointing. Now is better than later. I wonder if the relics here could lead us to where Arleth and once stood. You don't seem to be that pleased to be out of the tower, Finn. I thought most mages wanted to be free. Why? Just to be outside? Do you see this splotch here on my robe? That's mud. There's no mud in the tower. I miss being cozy and dry. On Finn! Sorry. Over here, perhaps. There it is. All right, all right. What we could do if we hadn't lost this I'll get on it. This is going well! Have I it, wish we could question these ancients, instead of killing them. group of elves took refuge here. This is like, pay attention to where they're going. Al Shirok destroyed Kad Halash. The dwarves slaughtered their own because they feared the Tevinter Imperium. Despicable. Get on it. Got it. Ah! 
So you've never been outdoors? Till now? I have been. I just don't care much for it. We had to do stretching exercises. I got sweaty. There was dirt. During my apprenticeship, they thought getting fresh air and exercise at least once a week would do us good. Fresh air and sunlight is good for you. You know what feels fresh air in the summer? Mosquitoes. Hungry for sweet, untested mage flesh. Well, when you put it that way... Luckily, it didn't last long. One day, an apprentice made a break for it. Jumped off the dock and started swimming for the shore. The Templars couldn't jump in after him. Not with the armor on. Finally found him a week later. We stopped having to go out after that. <laughs> that mage, Anders, never stopped trying to escape, though. I haven't heard from him since his last attempt. Dark spawn. Kill them all! Come to me, oh sweet. Of our Lathen. I hope that's enough. We still need the shard of the Illuvian, though. Let's head to the Elven Ruins when you're ready. These are the ruins. The broken Alluvian should be around here. Oh, I'm so excited! If you hate the outside so much, why come with us? Couldn't pass up a chance to learn more about the ancient elves, and the mirrors. Besides, the company is good. Thanks. I meant the dog. Do you ever wish you had the freedom to piss anywhere and not have people stare at you? No. Do you? Uh, oh, no, of course not. I see enemies ahead. <laughs> all right, all right. Now it's better than later. I hope this goes well. <laughs> Now it's better than later. These people were very sick before they died. Let's see what you're made of! You don't think it's contagious, do you? I'll get on it. Get it? Go get them! <laughs> 
Now is better than later. All right, all right. Why is everything so Now is better than later. I'll get on it. I can't believe this is one of the Illuvians. It's magnificent. And broken. Mostly broken. With the shard and the lights of Arlathan, we should be able to scry for an unbroken mirror. This looks like a suitable place to do the ritual. We can start whenever you're ready. Here we go! What happened to Ariane? Give us your blood. Who cares if it hurts? It's my blood. That's different. Oh, uh, sorry. I've pinpointed another Illuvian. It's in the Dragonbone Wastes. The Tevintas probably moved it there to see if the ancient Dragonbones could enhance the Illuvian's power. Shall we?
dog? What do you call that which covers a tree? <sighs> We're here. Keep your eyes open for dragons and mirrors. Guess he has to go somewhere. dragon worshipper before not much for small talk are they why would anyone worship a dragon dragons are big powerful and they breathe fire some people are easily impressed I'll get on it. Is that uh, of our Terra? It can't be. They're only legends. It is said they were rock and tree, wind and rain, given form and breath by the elven gods to protect their people. To protect their people? Then why does it look like it's going to eat you?
the Alluvian. And it's glowing. We should... I think she's expecting you. Ask her about our book. Stop right there. Not one step more, or I am gone. I assume you know what this is. I have gone to great lengths to find and activate this portal. One false step and I am through, and beyond your reach for good. To another place. Beyond this world and beyond the Fade. But this portal can only be used once more. Achieving even this much was... difficult. I remained to see if it was truly you. I had to know. Tell me, why did you come? And there it is. You are honest, at least. Sad that it should come to this. After what we once meant to each other. Tis Flemeth you should beware of, not me. Hunt her if you hunt anyone. My mother has tricked her way past death and more. She is no more finished than I am. I thought I knew what Flemeth planned. I thought what she craved was immortality, and yet I was wrong. So very wrong. She is no blood mage, no abomination. She is not even truly human. You denied me the ritual, but it does not change what is to come. Change is coming to the world. Many fear change, and will fight it with every fiber of their being. But sometimes, change is what they need most. Sometimes, change is what sets them free. It is all I have to give. I cannot tarry longer. The time has come for me to go. I am. There is one last thing I must tell you. If you will allow me, your son is safe. Not all children are born through sorcery, Warden. He awaits me now, on the other side of the mirror. If you will let me go. He is beyond your reach, as I soon will be. 